Hello and welcome to episode 28 of our Sunrise Empire campaign. In the last episode, we focused on the development of our urban provinces. So if we look at the uh, map mode here, at all of our urban centers, they are all at least 30 development, have a manufactory and a workshop in them. So we are now producing a lot more value. Um, not that we need it per se, since we're making 2,000 crowns a month, but uh, you know, it's, a, it's more about the message you send, right? More about the message you send, our cities are great and grand. Uh, for today, we have some more development we need to do. We're going to be focusing on certain regions now, I believe, uh, in developing those up in turn. But we will also be going to war with the command. Our truce is up with them in three years. Yeah, three years, almost to the date. A little bit, a couple less months than that, uh, which will be pretty sweet. And we'll see if we can maybe vassalize their uh, their current vassals, annex them, and then release them as vassals. We could potentially. Actually, no, we couldn't. Uh, I was going to say we could potentially fully annex the command, but when you inherit these, they stay as slave states. And obviously, that's not uh, that's not good. It, that's not good, especially when you're playing a nation that is, for the most part, uh, not bad at all. So, uh, you know, we probably don't want to do that. So let's take a look at our mission tree here. We have got some development to do. That is simply the way of life. Uh, right here, we're waiting for, yeah, vision. Right, right, right. I was going to take exploration ideas to fix that. Uh, Conquer Dujat, yep, 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 we're waiting on the command, then that's complete, then this one is not complete because, as someone, someone pointed this out in the comments, thank you very much, uh, this province counts towards needing the defenses for some reason. There's nothing here right now, it's the Forbidden Valley that we are not allowed to talk about, but it does technically count. So let's go ahead and develop this a bit and start the process. We're going to start with a fort with like 27 months. I have so much money. Uh, mages, hello. Can I please cast uh, aid constructions? It costs a lot of money. I, I don't care. It will make things faster. It is worth it for us. Uh, this will now only take 21 months instead. The cost doesn't matter at all. But, you know, making it faster is nice. Uh, okay, do I have any artificery stuff, actually, that could help me more? Because I know that there are certain artificery researches that do... Okay, we do not. Let's continue to mention research and let's go for mechanism. There is a research, I believe, that lowers construction cost and time. Which would be very, very useful for us. Very, very useful. Uh, then, integrate the hobgoblins. We just need monarch points. That will happen. Uh, this one is complete. The Great Wall of Yanshan. So, all these forts over here have max level forts. And they also have um, ramparts. That's what they're called. Ramparts. Which is pretty sweet. Steward of the Yin, Devastation and Unrest lower than one. Well, that is a very, very easy problem for me to fix. And we can complete this mission immediately. So all provinces part of the Yanchan subcontinent have less than one devastation and unrest is lower than one. Long have the Yan resisted foreign occupation, but we are not foreign occupiers. We are Halesi, just as they are, a fact that we must demonstrate to them irrefutably. Heal the land of the Yanchan, provide it with wealth and security, and its people will finally realize that we do not rule to be served, but to serve. Okay, interesting. Gain a permanent claim on a place I already own in 200 Splendor. An isolated or not forgotten. That's this entire culture group uh, up here. So we already own all of that. So that is pretty sweet. Uh, the Far Odhegun, uh, separated from Hales by a hostile sea of steppe, are Halesi nonetheless. It is up to us to protect them from the threats that encroach upon them from all sides, be it face dealers, marauding bird riders, brutal centaurs, or greedy Canorians. The Odhegun will finally know peace. All right, 20 prestige and minus 0 0.05 global devastation for us for 20 years, which is actually really nice. Uh, but yeah, usually, well, not usually, but sometimes you will see Canorians colonize this. But for some reason, Ketarada really, really, really popped off this game. Like, absolute crazy. They have 600,000 troops uh, and took all this, which is pretty cool. Well, it's not cool, actually, at all, but it's cool to see someone different there. Uh, we could choose a new age ability, and I think we're going to go for Unrestricted Conquest. Hmm, yeah. None of the other ones matter at all, so sure. We'll choose that one. Uh, all right, back to the mission. So, Great Wall of Yanchai is already complete. This one, already complete. Wonderful. Masters and Monks. So, we need to build cathedrals. They need to have a regimental camp, and they need to have a manufactory. Which, I mean, that's that's a lot of things. That is, that's a lot of buildings. Uh, so let's make sure we're working on that. Now, I believe I've already built up the cathedrals. Yes, we have cathedrals in a whole bunch of places here. Then we will need the conscription centers. And it has to be in the Jianji region, specifically. Okay, so all of Sarasong counts. Okay. 
Wonderful. Get you built up. Should just upgrade them everywhere anyways. Uh, well, not that it matters. Then we need to go through and micro these as well, I believe. Uh, get all of these provinces, some of those. So we'll go through here. I can delete the counting houses. You know what? We'll just encourage development. We'll just develop it a bit. Up to 20. Go ahead and build up the conscription center in all of these spots. There we go. Get that up to 10. Build conscription center. Yeah, no, this was definitely better just to develop a bit. Even if I have to develop a lot, it's super cheap for us to do right now, so it's not really a huge deal. Uh, and I can always delete forts and stuff too, as we don't need them anymore. Um, so that's also not a bad building to delete in our case, because there ain't no one that's going to threaten us, at least not at this point. If Katarata somehow brings their troops all the way over to here, we've got issues. <laughs> we have got major, major, major issues. Uh, this is in the Shanxi region. Yes, perfect. And it has a cathedral, right? It does not. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let's... I probably should have encouraged development here. That's all right. Uh, you already have a construction center and a cathedral and a manufacturing... Okay, actually, you're good. I didn't need to develop you at all. That's all right. Nothing matters about that. Just a little bit more money. Perfect. That'll complete another one. Uh, this... Yeah, so this will be one, two... One, you know what? We should just do this one as well. Get this going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, I think this is gonna gonna get it. I think they'll do it. I hope. They'll be they'll be, they'll be pretty close. And then we'll just build have more buildings. Uh, then we have philosophers and traders, which is already done. And then we have to choose our next region. Which I think should be Industry of the Upper Yen. So, uh, actually, do I? Yeah. So, all provinces in the Upper Yanshan, Wall of Yanshan province group need to have a castle. Need to have base manpower of 10, and they need to have a ramparts and a conscription center. Okay. The Upper Yanshan, Wall of Yanshan province group. I don't know what province group that is. Is that really saying that every single one of these provinces needs a fort? Because that seems a little intense, right? A, a little bit intense. Okay, it's either it needs a fort or it needs a base manpower of 10 or it needs a rampart. Is that, am I, am I reading that? No, it just has to have one of the castle types and then both of those things. That just seems a little crazy to me. And in the upper Yanshan region, all provinces need five base manpower, five base production, a workshop, barracks, and a farm estate if they have grain or livestock in them. Do they really all need a, a fort? That's what I'm so confused about. Because this should then... You know what? We're going to test. We're going to test this. I'm going to put you up to uh, like 30 development. We're going to build a conscription center. Right now, this is highlighted, right? But if this conscription center finishes and this is no longer highlighted, then that means, yes, that's what I have to do, which is insanity. That's a lot. That's a lot of forts. That's okay. But right now, one thing that I don't, that I absolutely have to do is build workshops. And that is much easier for me to do. Uh, it's okay if I build cutting house? Yeah, it is okay. See, not everything has a counting house. That I can work on. That I can work on. So we get everything in here a counting house, including you. Uh, we'll just do everything around it just in case so I don't miss anything. And then these two provinces need to be worked around a little bit. You can get up to 10. Go ahead and get a counting house. You will have to go up to uh, higher. More. There we go. Wonderful. You can go ahead and grab a counting house. Cool. All right. Anywhere else that requires me not just totally uh, developing. Necropolis, Bimlao, at least 40 development, has a manufacturing and has a castle. Does it have all of those things? It has a ramparts. I'm going to go ahead and expand infrastructure here. This is going to give us an additional building slot. 
I'm going to build up a mill just in case that's what I actually need. Uh, just to be safe. Just to be safe. It needs to be 40 development, so I need seven more points of development. Uh, I could, I suppose, encourage development here. Get up to 40. It's a way to do it. It also needs a cathedral, and it needs the necropolis modifier, which I believe it has. It should. Yeah, building on the necropolis right there. Yeah, oh, this one right here. Okay. So wait, it needs a cathedral? Hold up. Upgrade the temple. Maybe that's all I need. Maybe I just need to upgrade the temple there. Then I would have wasted those admin points. It doesn't matter, though. Uh, you just need, I just need workshops everywhere. I just need workshops everywhere. I should just build them everywhere. Yeah. Oh, God. I regret saying that immediately. Oh, well, let's get to work. <laughs> let's get to work and start a clicking. These provinces or these buildings aren't going to build themselves, unfortunately. Not going to build themselves. There we go. Wonderful. Yeah, we'll, we'll just upgrade all of these as well. I mean, it is more money. Not necessary, but nice to have. Uh, and uh, you know this needs to be faster. I have enough money to do all of them. How much clicking is this going to be? Ah, it's not too bad, actually. I've had to click more for less. I should probably scroll out while I do this so you can see all the things building. Oh, yeah, this is going by super fast. Super fast. Just get these workshops built up because it seems like I need them everywhere anyways. And right now it's cheaper for us to do it and it'll take less time. Now I'm looking down there at the south where our Kellen was. That does look a little empty on our uh, whole workshop journey. That's okay. We can deal with that in time. Okay, I'm starting to regret me saying that there was uh, not that many, but we're good. All right, let's let some time pass. We've got to let some time pass. <laughs> we barely even unpaused. Hey, that's just the way it is. Uh, Kenorata is at war with the Lake Fed and with the Centaurs, but I'm pretty sure they're going to win. Pretty sure they're going to win. Uh, but it's going to take them a long time to fight that war. It's going to be a real pain to do, so that's nice. At least they'll be busy and not paying attention to us in any way, shape, or form. Not that I think they'll attack us and because, you know, well, I suppose technically we have an even number of troops. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go and I'm going to build 100,000 infantry here, 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 and here. Just so no one bothers us at all. We can afford it. We have the manpower for it. So we might as well just get it out of the way. Now, no one will bother us. There's no shot that they're going to attack us. We're going to look way, way, way too strong, which is exactly what I want to see. Are we over our governing capacity? We are by about 400%. Or 400, not 400%. That'd be a lot. That, that, that would be a lot more. Uh, it's not a huge thing, though. Like, at this point, what does it do? Um, more advisor cost. More stab cost. Yeah, it literally doesn't matter. Literally doesn't matter for us. Uh, we are taking exploration ideas. Right. Right. I was saving up some diplo points to hire an explorer. Because I was going to send them out to explore... A long... I don't actually know what this region down here is called at all. The Ringlet Sea? I don't think... Yeah, that's the Ringlet Sea coast. I'm not interested in the Ringlet Sea coast. I'm going to guess the Kedwali Gulf Sea. Hey, look at that. Good guess. Good guess. Because I want them to get over here so I can start to see people. So I can actually, uh, you know, complete missions. It'd be nice. Uh, start a new debate. I would rather have development cost, but sure, you can try that one. I don't really want to rival Katarata. Not a huge concern. Not a huge concern. How are our buildings doing? They are completed. Wonderful. Uh, we'll build up a couple more. There we go. All right. Uh, we have some power points as well. So did this end up building? It did. So it does this count now for the mission. I highlight of this. Oh my god, it does. Yes, it does. So every single one in the upper Yanchen wall of Yanchen. So it's not actually everything that's highlighted. I don't know what the upper wall of Yanchen is. Is that connected to the Great Wall of Yanchen? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. All in the upper wall of Yanchen province group. I think it's just this one then. 
right? Yeah, yeah, I think it's just this province then that needs that as well. Go ahead and build a conscription center. I think that'll count. I, I think, I think, 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 think. I think the rest of them are just these regular development ones. So right down here, these all need to be at five, five. That is their goal. Five, five, five. Of course, it's only certain uh, trade goods. Yeah, you can also be upgraded. And then what else do they need? They need a workshop, a barracks, and a farm estate. A workshop, a barracks, and a farm estate. Why don't you get two more development there? You have the farm estate. You have the workshop. But you don't have the barracks or training field. So let's upgrade that. You need a farm estate and a barracks. You need to delete this soldier household and instead build up a farm estate. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. Uh, you are doing all right already. Uh, you. Mm, give me three more development. What do you need? Okay, you just need a farm estate. And you need to get rid of your soldier household. No, 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 not necessary, and build a farm estate. Wonderful. Okay, let's move on to the other provinces up here. Encourage development, of course. Let's do a 5-5. Five, five. You need a farm estate. Let's do that. Hootie, get you up to two more. Uh, actually, you know what? Encourage development. We're going to have to get you a little bit higher here. You... No, no, no. Actually, you should be good now, right? Yeah, okay. You're up to five. You... Wait, what? Why didn't you get another ability slot? You have a farm estate. You have a training field. Oh, actually, you should count now. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I think I've cracked the code. I think I've cracked the code. You have... You need, actually. You need something. Uh, so let's go ahead and develop with some of you. A little bit of Avon development. Why not? Go ahead and build up a training field. Then Ying Zhen, you need... One point of development. What? Oh, it's 30. Um, farm estate. Counting house. Guess what it needs, guys. Guess what it needs. It needs a little bit of love to get a barracks. Or a training field. Whatever. You know, training field is just upgraded barracks. You know what I mean. Uh, you need it to get up to five. Three. Beautiful. You are actually good to go once you get that. All right, and Taiochi, you need a little bit of development. Wait, 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 wait. These ones need forts because it's only provinces that produce grain and livestock that need the development. Oh, no, no, no. It's that the iron and copper has different requirements. It needs base production of at least five, a workshop, and a weapons manufacturing. But I already have that. Wait a second. <laughs> I thought I cracked the code. I don't think I've cracked the code. Nope. A workshop and no efforts manufacturing. Nope. I have cracked the code. I've cracked it. Uh, my brain is huge. Big brain plays. I should build a counting house. Here, same thing. Boom. You've already got it. Get you up to uh, 20 development. Boom. God, that's like doing a puzzle. Except it shouldn't be difficult at all. It's like literally the simplest thing in the world. But you know what? I'm going to get this done. All right? I'm going to get it done. You? If I up you to five, do you count anymore? Let's go! I cracked the code. I've done it, folks. I've done basic thinking. Yeah. Let's go. Easy claps. Start paying for the troops. Command, your time has come. I'm going to take you out once and for all. It's over here. You're not recovering. Uh, you're not. You're not gonna prevent me from getting one promise I need. I'm gonna. I'm gonna annex you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You will not make it out of here alive. Well, actually, you. You will get out of here alive, but like you won't. You won't get out of here alive with one of your provinces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? They let you out of that war three percent. 
Are you kidding me? You for real right now? You for real, for real? That's kind of ridiculous. Explore... A punctured coast? Are they going the right direction? Well, kind of. Yeah, 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 they are, they are, they are. I always forget about this little weird bit of land. Okay, we'll let some time pass. We'll let things build up. And that time, we will smack the command. Well, bam Smack them. In a couple months. Okay, if I go over here now to the missions. Let's get the FRE in. We're, we're getting there. Things are not built yet. I'm impatient. What can I say? You need to go places where there is supply. The whole reason of your existence is simply to make sure that people do not attack me and they just leave me alone. I do not want to fight them. I just want to be left alone. That's it. Build the Sunrise Road in Shemakad. Shemakad was the cradle of humanity in Hales and now has many loyal subjects. By building a Sunrise Road, we can connect this area with the already existing Golden Highway to ensure a steady flow of recruits and trade. Ah, up here, we need 300 admin points. Right. Yeah, go ahead and, and do that. That'll be nice. Road all the way up here towards Grunstead. All right, splendid. And Precursor Relics are now worth more. My truce with the command is up. And I'm going to instantly deck them before somebody, I won't say who, guarantees them and makes my life absolutely miserable. I would probably legitimately cry. Why did you... Why, why is your capital not a hold? Okay, whatever. I would probably legitimately cry if Katarata guaranteed their independence again. Uh, I, I don't know what I'd do with myself. That'd be horrendous. Having to fight Katarata again for this. Again? Like, come on, bro. Like, come on. That would be terrible. Okay. I gotta keep exploring. Gotta keep exploring. Uh, go ahead and explore... South Sarhal. I definitely know that one's correct. Definitely know that one is correct. Okay, there we go. You go occupy that hold. You guys can move in. You can split. Wonderful. Excellent initiative. Yeah. Oh, what's nice is that we have a four right here, so they can't actually walk out of these two. We have four here, so they can't walk out of that one or this one. And we have four here, so they can't walk out of that one. So it's all secured. Uh, you need to be developed up to 20, and I need to... I'll just expand there, and we can build a rampart. So I guess I didn't need to develop it. Oh, well. Okay, command. Uh, I just, I just want this province. What do you mean, no? God. Why, 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 why? It's one piece of land that's not even connected to your land, man. Like you can't even administrate it at all. It's literally useless to you. Like no way, no way, do you get the taxes out of that province? I do not let you through. I do not let your tax collectors through. There's no way. You're crazy. Uh, and just to be clear, I don't actually have to go take these, right? This mountain stuff, we're good. I, I just want to double, triple check that. No, we're good. I don't have to go up in there. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, then just give me that. Give me your money. Give me your war reps, and we never have to fight you again. Thank God. Whew. Okay. There we go. All it says it should be. The Sunrise Empire owns everything that is in most of Hales. Most of it. Everything in the Ancient, South Hales, and Rahan is owned by us. That's what matters. All right. We have a couple of missions to read off here. Destroy the command. The Hobgoblin capital has fallen, and their land is cleft in two. Our armies stand poised on the brink of a final push into their homeland in the foothills of the Jade Mountains. One last strike is all that it will take to finally end the threat of tyranny and subjugation that has been haunting northern Hales and Rahan for centuries. We gain 50 prestige and 100 of each monarch power. Which is good, because that helps us integrate the Hobgoblins. With the collapse of their great command, we must decide the fate of the Hobgoblins in our lands. While there are many rightfully upset Upper Reheni calling for the expulsion into the mountains, the Convocation cannot help but admire them. The Hobgoblins are undeniably hardy and loyal, their iron-bound discipline allowing them to sweep aside the ruined kingdoms of old. There is no doubt that they would be of great merit in our armies and as citizens in our empire. The only question that remains is how to go about integrating them. 
All right, so we lose 200 admin and diplo power. With a few years of integration, hobgoblin culture provinces, with the exception of swallow hobgoblins, will convert to Feng Huang hobgoblins, which will have representation in the Sunrise Convocation. Wonderful. And then we have the Great Wall of Yanshan, where all these provinces have forts and um, ramparts. There are many threats to the north of the Yan, the Demon Hills, the Bird Rhine Nomads, the Face Stealing Demons. Reports have even reached us of warlike, horse legged men in the far north. These are not threats we can go forth and destroy, for sending armies into those barren wastes can only lead to military disaster. Thus, our greatest dwarven architects have drawn up a plan to wall off the threats with a series of fortifications that span from the eastern mouth of the Jade Mines to the northernmost reaches of Yanshan ensuring peace and security in the region for all time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that no one will ever grab one ladder and climb over it. Nope, 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 nope. That's illegal, so they can't do that. Uh, all provinces in the, that province group give plus 20% local defensiveness. Nice. And once we can core up the last province, then we get these four missions. It's pretty cool. All right, cool. Uh, bring everyone back out. We're done. No more war. The peoples of Hales will know war no more. Well, maybe. We, we might still go after this. I don't, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> They've got almost a million men. Now, we do have more, but like... Ugh. Still a lot of work, right? Still a lot of work. And I would rather focus my money and effort and attention to developing. Tell more mystery out. Alright, let's stop paying for our troops once again. I don't think we're going to have any rebels from this. We can continue to explore and go for the West Salahad Sea. I don't, I don't need to know anything about the coast. I know that there's nothing there, so there's no value in me knowing. Uh, and let's check out the building macro. So we are still building things. Those would be the farm estates. But if we check here into the upper yan, all I'm saying is that it looks like I figured it out. It looks like I figured it out. Wonderful. Okay, so we can start moving on to the next areas. Let's go. That one's already done. This one. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, yes, we can continue this one. Good, 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 good. So we have 13 provinces that currently fit this. That have manufacturing, a conscription center, and a cathedral. I'm going to guess that the thing holding us back is manufacturing. Yes, it is. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Woohoo. Uh, so let's get some development going and start building up to get some more manufacturers going. Wow, they're dirt cheap for us to build right now. Absolutely dirt cheap for us to build right now. Okay, go ahead and get that. Build a farm estate. Literally doesn't matter to me what kind it is. It just matters to me that I can build it. You have a farm estate already? Uh, let's check here. Yeah, a lot of these are already done. You can delete the fort. Build a trade station. You need a... Cathedral? Yeah, no. Wait, make sure I'm in the right region. Yeah, you need a cathedral. Well, I can do that. That's easy. Nope. I say that's easy, then I click the wrong button. Classic. Classic Poey. Oh yeah, that's so easy. Does wrong thing. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> uh, okay, build a manufacturing there. Delete fort. Build manufacturing. Right here, delete fort, build manufacturing, right here. <laughs> you're never going to guess. <laughs> oh, you're never going to guess what's happened to this province either. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, uh, you have a cathedral, you have a conscription center, you need to be developed up to 20. Wonderful. We're going to get that weapons manufacturing going. You need two more provinces. You produce fish? Gross. Imagine. Imagine producing fish when you can produce something much more valuable for me. Oh, that was already done. I didn't need to do that one. That one's already done as well. Cathedral. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it's already done. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that should, that should do it. That should do it. Oh, man. I have to build more farm estates here. Wait. No, no, no. That's, that's over here. That, that's different. That's different. That's different. Uh, this one. Demon Hills. Well, okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's fine. Uh, though, all provinces in the Demon Hills Wall of Yanchen need to also have development and a castle and a rampart. So let's do that right now while I'm still remembering what to do. 
I uh, need to encourage development. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. You also need to get up to 10. You also need a conscription center. Let's get that built up. You also need one point of development for a conscription center. I believe this was also one of them. Uh, I can delete the temple here and build up a conscription center. Okay, so that should do everything for the forts in the Demon Hills. Was this one of them? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't remember. You know what? Only one way to find out, right? Only one way to find out. Build that up, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, now the rest of them, 10 owned provinces within the Demon Hills, need to have a workshop and a manufacturing. Really? That's it? I can do that. That's not bad. That, that's very doable. First development. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's easy. Develop this up to 10. That, that should complete it. Let's let time pass. If it's really that easy, then I'll be thrilled. Like, woohoo. Yes, good, 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 good. Uh, let's take a look at the prosperity. Or I guess devastation map mode. So we're looking decent on our prosperity. Obviously, in things that we have recently taken, uh, not so good. Not so good. This up here. Stupid jackals. That's what it is. That's the jackals. It's ruined pro any chance of prosperity up here. Imperialism and I guess Haraz du 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 what, what dwarven tag is that? That's a dwarven tag. So why am I being bothered with it? Gorboran... What? The Obsidian Legion has a formable? I didn't know that. I, I thought it was just the Obsidian Legion. That's it? Okay. Uh, cool. Sure. Doesn't bother me at all. Uh, oh, God. I can't remember. I can't remember what every C is called here. I should know. It, like, it's literally right outside Canor. I should absolutely know what this C is called. I think that it is called... Mm, I'm going to cheat. Can I see? No, I can't cheat. Dang it. This one. Is he going the right way? Hold on. Wait. Stop. No more moving. Where is he going? Uh, nope, I think I was wrong. Oh, well. Uh, we can complete some missions. <laughs> so, conquer Dujat. The Dujat region has been caught in a crush between the command and the Raj. The two states fighting each other to the point of annihilation for sovereignty of the land and its people. Only we, the Sunrise Empire, can usher in an age of stability and prosperity that the Raheni and Dujat yearn for. We get a permanent claim on a bunch of regions. Doesn't matter, we already own it. Unite the families. That's over here. These people are like... A little bit Habsburg, I think, from what I understand. They're very um, um, family-focused. They keep it in the family. While the complex familiar relationships of the Genkadin will require no small amount of diplomatic navigation, their insularity and self-reliance does not present us with one does present us with one substantial advantage. They bear little more loyalty to their harm our masters than they do to us. Should we prove ourselves more than equal to the Raj through the right of conquest, they will serve our state just as readily. In 100 military power. And the Western Walls, yes, we're now waiting for this to build up since I forgot about it. But that's fine. No, we're going to give me the command any privileges. They can get over it. Bunch of weirdos. Imagine. Imagine. Give me the command anything. No. They can sit there in their mountains and cry about it. <laughs> but that's what they get. Uh, I should really have all of these forts, <laughs> like, max level over here. This is like the one place I should absolutely have max fort level. And I wanted to actually build more forts, I think, out here, but meh. I think this wall will be good enough. Be good enough for now. All right, we just have to wait for this. That's literally what we're doing. Nothing else to do. Just gotta wait. Wow, we are way over time. I lost track of time. That's okay, though. Uh, we'll go a little bit longer today. That's fine, sure. I'll turn on this first fort, whatever. Because 
Uh, I would like to get through at least this little part of the mission tree, Guardians of Aless. Then we can save these other missions for uh, next time. All provinces in Upper Yanchen. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to do all that next time, I think. I don't want to be pausing right now. Yeah, there's lots of stuff that we'll get to read off, and it'll be good. It'll be good. We are just right in here. The jackals. I hate the jackals. Uh, oh, nice. He died. Hey, a three four three. That's 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 good. Celadora. Well, female. Yeah, nice. Faced, and she's just amazing. That's actually a, a really good ruler to uh, end off this run on, if she can live that long. Hopefully, she can. Uh, actually, no. Well, maybe. Maybe. All right. The Western Walls. The conquest of Jahair took Rohan by surprise. He arrived with his legions from the Salahad, driving through the passes straight into the heart of Holest. Now that we have liberated the western edges of the continent, we must ensure that such an invasion never happens again. Shore up the passes with great walls for security, breeze, prosperity. Local defensiveness in all those provinces until the end of the game. And finally, Guardians of all Holest, we own everything in Holest. Uh, to take the mantle of Halesa's true heir and guardian, we must curtail the influence of foreigners in our lands. They threaten to steal the wealth from our people's hands, replacing it with their strange customs. This we cannot allow. We will secure the Halesi coastline and allow no foreign trader into our ports without strict regulation. Only then will Hales be safe. So, until the end of the game, we gain isolated prosperity, which gives the mines 50% trade power abroad, plus 20% domestic trade power, plus 33% embargo efficiency, plus 10% goods produced, plus 50% aggressive expansion impact, and plus 50% province war score cost. We're not going to war. We're not going to be going to war. And we will save those missions for next time. But we have uh, fully united less in this one, and things are looking rather good for us. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.